I'm scared of the next 10 days. I'm excited and I'm scared. But I want to actually go through it. I want to see how these 10 days are going to go for me starting tonight, seeing how the weight goes up, and I want to document it all. So you all see what those 10 days look like for me. So you can all see how much weight I do gain. I don't even want to say if I gain because I know I probably will gain. I am in a maintenance mode. And my goal is to stay in that maintenance range. But at the same time, I know that life is going to get in the way. Think about this too for a lot of people. You probably go on vacation. It's going to happen. And on vacation, are you really thinking about fasting throughout that vacation? And that's fine if you are. But for me, I'm going on vacation later in the year as well. And I don't want to go on vacation and have to fast for the next 10 days while my friends I'm going on vacation with are eating and doing things that like we don't normally do. I want to be able to enjoy myself. And that's kind of how I look at the next 10 days with my friend in town. It doesn't mean I'm not thinking about being healthy. It doesn't mean that I won't be mindful about how I'm taking care of myself because that's still always going to be a priority. I just I think it's really important to know that you still need to put balance in between what you're doing. All right, so this is it. This is day one of eating 10 days in a row. It's actually 11 p.m. right now, 10.59 p.m. And I am going to break my 70 hour and 12 minute fast or 70 hours and 13 minutes. I'm actually breaking it with this salad right here. This is a big bag salad. Give me one second. This is a Steakhouse Wedge chopped kit salad. I've never had this before. It says it has lettuce, broccoli stock, cabbage, carrots, green onions, crispy onions, uncured bacon, and steakhouse seasoning with a creamy blue cheese dressing. I also added extra croutons and extra Parmesan cheese for a total calorie count of 1,020 calories to break my 70 hour fast and to start my 10 days of eating back to back days. Again, I am now 70 hours and 13 minutes into my fast, ending it right now. Just gonna start. Did I say I put extra dressing I put extra Parmesan cheese and extra croutons. It's not bad, but I like my Buffalo Ranch one better. If you watch my videos in the past, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm not filming myself eating all of this. I just wanted to at least document what I'm eating on day one. And I'm going to try to do it for all 10 days. They're probably gonna get shorter as the days go by because I'm not gonna sit here and film myself eating with my friend here. Um, I have Italian sausage and Brussels sprouts cooking in the oven. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll share all of that so you get a calorie count of what my first eating day is out of 10 days. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I am 23 minutes into my refeed. If you know me, I am eating Brussels sprouts and Italian sausage. I added, I think, three tablespoons of olive oil, and that came out to a total of 1,430 calories. Brussels sprouts and Italian sausage is my absolute favorite go-to uh, meat and vegetable dish. These are three Italian sausages and one pound of Brussels sprouts, a little over a pound. Again, 1,430 calories. I have like seasoned these. Like I have, I feel like I've perfected seasoning them. It's surprisingly good. It's, it's, it is good. It is also not something that I 
would like actively seek it out. Hundred percent. Yeah. It's something I've had the one time, and I'm like, yep, yep, this is the thing. Yeah. Uh, there is one of An hour and six minutes into my refeed, and I have chicken tenders, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, 575 calories. I am still super hungry. Um, this is super hot. Temperature hot. One hour and 31 minutes into my fast. I have cashews. This ends up being 850 calories. I can't remember the last time I haven't had cashews during a refeed. I'm like obsessed with them just like all the other food I eat. That's what happens when you only eat once every three or four days. We'll see what happens in these next 10 days. One hour and 42 minutes into my refeed, and I have a protein bar here. Actually, how much protein is in here? 20 grams of protein, 290 calories. Chocolate peanut butter. It's not bad, but it has like this artificial taste that I don't really care for, but I'll still eat it. One hour, 54 minutes into my refeed. I have this red bean, oops, that's very flaky. I have this red bean paste dessert that I got at a Chinatown bakery down the street for me. Wow, it's very flaky. I don't know how many calories. I am gonna guesstimate maybe 300 to overestimate. That's really good. And really messy. Very messy. Okay, I need a plate because this is ridiculous. Red bean paste. Oh wow, that's great. Okay, I'm getting a plate. Bye. Two hours and three minutes into my refeed. Pumpkin pie to end the night. This ends up being 485 calories. Surprisingly enough, because I know I get to eat tomorrow, I really don't feel like eating more food other than what I've just eaten. Is that weird? Feels weird. Like, mentally, I kind of feel satiated because I know I get to eat again tomorrow. This is different. Very different. Okay, I take it back. Two hours and nine minutes into my refeed. I am ending it now, two hours and nine minutes. For some reason, I thought that I only ate maybe 2,500 calories. I don't know what I was thinking. So in two hours and nine minutes, I ate 4,660 calories. No wonder I feel full. I thought I ate less. That's also including Diet Mountain Dew. I added the calories in that. 4,660 calories on day one. I mean, it feels like a normal refeed day. I don't even want to think about eating tomorrow right now because I'm pretty full. Now, day two is only gonna be a one hour refeed. I'm gonna try to limit my calories under 2,000. I think I can do it. Day two, 7 a.m. Going for my walk, walking to the gym, gonna lift weights, gonna walk after going back home. Probably do another five mile walk. Feeling good, feeling tired. Still doesn't feel normal to know that I'm gonna eat later tonight. I am not feeling any type of hunger right now. All right, here's the deal. Today is day two. I am currently 20 hours and 45 minutes into my fast. 
I plan on eating tonight. My plan was to eat every day for the next 10 days. My friend is coming into town tomorrow morning. We are most likely going to get breakfast. I am not hungry tonight at all. And the last thing I wanna do is force myself to eat. I wanted to do this 10 day, eat every day type deal, but only if I'm actually hungry to eat and I am currently not hungry. So I am going to forego eating tonight and will be most likely eating tomorrow, probably doing a 30 something hour fast. I guess it's gonna depend. My friend is flying in at around 8 a.m. Day three to day 10 will look certainly different, but I'm gonna record it all and that's that. I'll see you on day three. Today is day three. I am currently 32 hours and 45 minutes into my fast since I didn't eat yesterday. I'm at a place getting brunch. Picked up my friend earlier and uh, we're gonna be getting breakfast. It's almost noon right now. Just had a huge breakfast. I know I'm probably gonna be eating lunch and the hard part for me is I still want to keep eating in between breakfast and lunch. It's something that I am used to doing is just continuously eating. And now that I'm able to eat every day, at least for the next still eight days or so, just thought I'd share eating a banana now, but I feel like I'm probably going to eat something else I have here later. I am at an all-you-can-eat sushi spot right now, ordering a bunch of apps, ordering a bunch of nigiri, still going strong, still feeling pretty hungry. Evening everyone, it is 9.41 p.m. I have been refeeding for 11 hours and 42 minutes. It's been a long day of eating. I honestly think I probably ate easily over 6,000 calories, if not more. I pretty much tried to record everything I did eat. I didn't record at the very end here, but I ate nearly another tin of cashews, which was probably over a thousand calories at least. I don't know how long I'm gonna be fasting until tomorrow. I am going to the gym in the morning, but probably gonna break for breakfast or brunch. Good morning, everyone. It's April 10th. Today is day four of my 10 day eating whatever. I am currently nine and a half hours into my fast. I don't know how long I'm gonna be fasting for today, probably maybe 12 hours tops. Uh, I weighed in this morning at 147.4 pounds. So that is the heaviest I've been in a minute. And I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that weighing in and eating, not weighing in every day, but I know that eating every day is gonna get that scale to go up. I know most of it is just water retention. I know I didn't just put on five or six pounds of fat. That's not how it works. And I know that once I start fasting again in a more prolonged fashion that the weight will drop. It's just a little weird. And I know I have to understand and accept that this is what happens when you eat every day and that maybe there will be some normalization, but I also know that I'm eating pretty much whatever and whenever. and. It's only for those 10 days and I'm just trying to enjoy the moment, but I'm also trying to kind of feel my emotions and experience or maybe feel that type of guilt of eating that often and also just trying to be accepting of it. I am still going to the gym today, going for a walk, and it might not be as long of a walk as I typically do, 
I will try to push a little harder at the gym today because I know I have the calories in me to do so. I'm feeling good. I'm on vacation, right? Like I know I'm at home, but I'm just enjoying my time. It is day four. I am breaking at the 15 hour mark. I'm semi hungry, but uh, gonna break for brunch. I think it's 11ish at the moment. I'm at this like Mexican inspired breakfast place. I ended up getting chilaquiles. This is French toast, creme brulee French toast. So these are steak chilaquiles, over easy eggs, two quesadillas, pico de gallo, breakfast potatoes, avocado. So excited. Currently on the end of day four, I'm nine and a half hours into my refeed. I'm still eating and it's tough. I broke earlier this morning or early in the afternoon or late morning and I wasn't the hungriest, but I ate and it felt fine. But towards the end of the night, like I normally do, I just tend to eat and eat and eat. I finished this entire tin of cashews, which ends up being like 1400 calories or maybe more. Um, I currently have Thin Mints, Girl Scout cookies, and uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna eat for. It's a tough part of what I'm doing and I'm not exactly sure why even though i feel kind of full i'm still eating even though i know i get to eat tomorrow i'm still eating i still go into the gym and i'm walking and i'm lifting weights and i'm trying to lift heavier this is just different for me and it's still a struggle when i get the opportunity to eat whenever i want for how long i want and I'm just gonna keep learning and figuring it out. Learning, growing, figuring out why I do some of the things I do. I mean, I did drink earlier and I had like three whiskeys, ate Chinese food and still ate when I came back home. Yeah, that's it. See you on day five. At this point, I am 14 hours into my current fast. I'm grabbing pizza for lunch. Got a bunch of pies here from Who's Your Mama. If you don't know Who's Your Mama, they make some great pies. First up is banana cream. A banana cream pie, a lemon chess. A chocolate cream. And a lemon curd. I probably won't film myself eating all of these and I am sure my friend and I aren't gonna eat all of it, but probably eat a good amount. This chocolate, what is this one? This chocolate cream one is pretty good. This one, this lemon curd is actually amazing. It tastes like cheesecake or it is cheesecake, like a lemon cheesecake. This lemon chest is also really good. It is very lemony, but like a light type of deal. Um, and this one, this is banana cream. This is my favorite. It's actually been my favorite for a while. It's about 6.15 p.m. We are headed out to dinner. We're meeting some other friends. I feel so bloated. After eating that pie, I just feel a little gross. 
I'm just being honest with my feelings. It's not like I can, I can see the bloating and I can feel it. And it's the first time in the five days that I've been eating whatever, where I actually feel like I don't want to eat. We're going out for drinks and like food. And honestly, if we weren't going out, I would have been fine with that. But you know, I'll probably grab a beer or a whiskey or whatever and uh, you know, enjoy myself. But it is the first time I am feeling like overly full to the point where it doesn't feel good. I, I mean, I feel fine otherwise, but I could definitely take a break from food at this point. I am 10 hours into my refeed. Today was kind of a, like I felt pretty bloated today. I still feel bloated. I'm just trying to navigate my feelings versus how I'm eating. I still feel like I'm overdoing it. I find myself coming home and still wanting to eat. And it's taking a lot for me to just say, no, you don't have to, you're gonna eat tomorrow. But I also don't feel like I'm completely going overboard, just knowing that I'm overeating and learning to deal with it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be higher in weight again tomorrow. I actually didn't walk today. I didn't go to the gym today. Good morning, everyone. Today is day six of eating for 10 days and eating whatever I want and not really timing anything. I am 10 and a half hours, 10 hours and 25 minutes into my current fast. I'm probably gonna be breaking this within the next half hour to hour. I'm about to go get brunch or breakfast. Don't know what I'm gonna eat exactly, but I'm a little bit hungry. So I wanna point out a couple things here about how I'm feeling and doing this on a day-to-day -day basis. I am up again in weight, like you probably saw on the screen there, where I'm at. I gained maybe another two pounds or so, and in a weird, weird way, I don't feel any way about it. Like, yeah, I feel bloated, and yeah, I feel full still, but I don't feel guilty about the weight gain, which is really, really different for me. It's interesting and different, and even though I felt scared at the beginning of a lot of this, right now I feel, I feel good. And I think the weird part about it is the hunger part. Before I did any of this, the thing I thought about the most out of anything else was that I was just going to be hungry and ravenous the entire day, all day, but that hasn't been the case. There's been a good amount of time where I just wasn't hungry and I didn't feel like I needed to eat. The other part about this too is, we'll call it old Jerome or Jerome in season one, as I was losing the weight. And after I lost all the weight through fasting, that old part of me probably wouldn't be as open as I am right now when it comes to talking about gaining weight and eating whatever, whenever. I think the old version of me would have hid that and only shown the successes. So I look at this as a really big growing period in what I'm doing. Like I'm actually taking the time to listen to my body instead of just stuffing the food down all day, every day, at any given time because I can. I am still going for walks. I went for about an hour and 45 minute walk today easily over five miles. I think the old version of me wouldn't have even gone for a walk or done any exercise because it's my all or nothing personality, right? Where either I'm doing it perfect or I'm not doing it at all. And this is a different version of me where I feel like I'm actually, it's like, yeah, I'm gaining weight and I'm eating whatever. And maybe I'm being a little mindful, even though I'm overdoing it a lot of the times. And I think that is just the eating disorder part of me that I'm still trying to figure out, but I'm still going for walks and I still went to the gym and I might not be 
going to the gym like I have been every day. And it's not like I've been walking every single day either, but I'm still doing some of these activities and I'm still thinking about it and I'm still being mindful about it. And I do look at this as progress. When I talk about not worrying about the weight, it's because I really do feel like that once my friend leaves after these 10 days, I can get right back on a fast. But we'll see if I can actually do that. That is maybe the bigger question is, can I get through those fasts or can I get through the days by fasting and not caving in and not eating everything because I've been so used to doing this every day? That part still has yet to be seen. Breaking at 11 hours and 25 minutes. This is an ochata cold brew. Cinnamon ochata. Traditional breakfast, over easy egg, sausage, pancake. Looks like we're back for more all you can eat. Uh, all you can eat sushi today, but doing apps right now. All right, this is the end of day six, I think. I'm, or five, six. I am 10 hours and 50 minutes into my refeed and I'm gonna start fasting right now. Today was just another day of eating whatever, whenever. The food it doesn't, I love to eat, but it's not the same kind of want and need for food that I've had usually when I refeed. Eating every day isn't as exciting as eating every three days or four days. It's still something I'm trying to adjust to. I still feel like I'm overdoing it and eating more than I should. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. I'll probably gain some more weight again tomorrow. But I'm still not worried about it. I feel pretty good about what I'm doing and just learning from it. And if it was up to me, I would probably eat less, but I'm still having a hard time when I went out for sushi tonight, I probably had 20 plus pieces of nigiri. And then I still ate dessert. And then I still pretty much ate this tin of cashews, which is probably over a thousand calories. They're still, some left and I still have Saturday through Tuesday and that might change. Maybe I won't eat as much, but I'm, I'm not really sure. That's it. I am 14 I hours into my fast. No. At this point, uh, I'm here getting a bagel sandwich. Feeling good. Went for a walk this morning, went to lift at the gym too, and uh, I'll show you some of my sandwich uh, as I continue to break the fast. Shout out to my Lord. Old style, Chicago handshake. Chicago handshake. Evening, everyone. I am 11 hours and 23 minutes into my refeed. I'm breaking that now or going to start fasting. Today is the end of day seven. I have three more days of pretty much eating back to back days. Not only have I been eating quite a bit, but I've been drinking too. Today had kind of a cookout and ate pretty much everything that we cooked ordered Filipino food, had random chips and snacks, and even in the evening went out for drinks and kind of ended it eating leftover pie. Day eight of pretty much eating whatever I want, whenever I want. I'm 11 hours and 25 minutes into my current fast. Probably gonna break maybe within the next hour or so. If you saw from the clip earlier, I did weigh in and I'm 19 pounds up at this point. Almost 20 pounds since I originally weighed last week. 
on Sunday. I have mixed feelings. It is a little concerning, but at the same time, I know, again, it isn't 19 pounds of fat in eight days. I didn't go for a walk this morning, didn't go to the gym, didn't sleep the best last night, so I figured I'd take a rest day today. I'm gonna be headed downtown and just kind of enjoying the day. It's like 75 hours. I'm actually on a boat right now. I'm going on a boat tour, an architectural boat tour here in Chicago. I just wanna take a look at where I'm fasted at. I'm actually 13 hours and 45 minutes into my fast. I haven't eaten yet, but there's also no food on the boat, just snacks. So uh, I will be breaking with uh, salt and vinegar chips a Snickers bar and some gummy bears. Also, uh, I'm gonna go to the bar and grab some beer. And that is what I'm breaking with today. Korean barbecue, the premium version. I'll show you the menu. It's seven-ish, eight-ish. I have been literally eating a tin of cashews every day for probably the last week plus. I obviously have trouble with self-control. It's currently 9.33 p.m. I'm eight hours and 33 minutes into my refeed. I'm gonna be ending this right now. I ate way too much today. Definitely put in a lot in those eight and a half hours. I do feel very ravenous, I'll say that much. In eight days, right? At the very beginning, I think fasting and only eating once every four days for the last five months really put me in a position of not feeling as hungry. Yeah, I might have eaten a lot during my refeeds, but I'm not eating anywhere close to what I'm doing right now on a daily basis. To be able to go to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place and eat, I mean, I at, at the very end of it, I was just eating plates of meat by myself. And then to still go and eat a tin of cashews afterwards and eat dessert and still feel hungry i definitely i definitely can put it down even more so than i have in the last week which goes to show that for me eating back-to-back -back days with no regard is really difficult for me it i'm sure there's a part of me if i tried really really hard to control my eating that i could probably be better about it but 
it's just so hard for me to do. I am looking forward to fasting again, but the real question is, am I going to be able to get back on a fast after eating this many days in a row and being as ravenous, like I said, as I have been? That's gonna be the real question. I am ending my refeed earlier tonight at around 9.30 p.m. versus when I've been doing it a little later. I have two more days where I get to eat like this and then starting on Wednesday or Tuesday night, I will be going back into another fast. Hello everyone, welcome to day nine. Uh, I'm actually 17 hours fasted. I'm uh, at a media place. Uh, this morning I went for a walk. I actually weighed the same from yesterday, which is a little weird. I thought I was gonna be more today. A longer fast today, feeling good. I'll show you what I'm gonna eat in a second, and uh, I'll talk about my thoughts and stuff a little later. It's a birria taco, and then a quesa birria, and then a birria and cheese quesadilla. This is the uh, birria and cheese quesadilla. But I'll say out of the three, the taco, the taco's my favorite. My friend has to work today well, and tomorrow. In the meantime, it gives me time to just snack and wait until work is over. So I got tortilla chips here. I'm probably gonna even eat more cashews. I have dessert, but I'm gonna try to save that for later. I just had those tacos or a taco, a quesadilla and that quesadilla, but I should know better and control, but that is the problem I'm having. I was able to fast for 17 hours, no problem. Not that 17 hours is particularly a long fast since I've been eating every day. But once I eat, it's like the floodgates open, just eat anything and everything. Cashews. I am gonna try really hard not to eat the whole tin. We'll see what happens. The tortilla chips, I had maybe like two and a half handfuls and then I was done. But these, this is the much harder, harder thing to control. This is a Snickers cookie. I don't know if I recorded myself eating these yesterday, but these are fantastic. You can find them at the Jewels here. If you live in Chicago and go, or if you, if you live in Chicago and you go to the Jewels, look for the Snickers cookie. It is amazing. Before I eat it all, because I almost forgot sushi again, but not much left. This is a spicy avocado kind of dish and ramen. Decided to end the night at Culver's. For some reason, they have started putting Culver's in the city. I did get a concrete mixer with Oreos, Butterfinger, and caramel. I have no idea how many calories this is, probably easily over a thousand or maybe close to it. Add the cashews, the ramen I ate earlier, sushi, the tacos or taco quesadilla and quesadilla, some tortilla chips and the cookie. It is eight hours and 22 minutes into my refeed, not my fast, my refeed. Uh, I'm gonna start fasting now. I'm half asleep. I ate a lot today. We'll see what I weigh in tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last day of eating for me before I start fasting again. All right, everyone, today is the last day of my refeed. I'm obviously in my car. I am almost 14 hours into my fast. I could actually not eat and just wait until this evening, but I'm actually hungry, which is a little scary because I know that when I start fasting tomorrow, I feel like that hunger is probably gonna come a lot sooner rather than later. And it's gonna be a matter of riding it out. I'm actually planning on documenting that process too is documenting the next fast I do because I've eaten 10 days in a row and I don't know what that's gonna be like. But I am breaking because I'm hungry. I do have a Diet Mountain Dew here, which I'm breaking with and actually just a protein bar because I just had to grab something real quick. I think on my way home, I'll probably grab some food too. And 
that's it oh the one thing as well is it, it is interesting to see my weight pretty much stay at 157 i mean it went up a little bit today i imagine it's going to go up again tomorrow and i'm going to see a total weight gain of 20 plus pounds and then i'm more curious about how long it's going to take to get back into my maintenance range it's about five hours later my friend has now left it's just me i was gonna stop and just grab some random food but i figured i'd wait a little bit i am still pretty hungry but i'm not ready to eat dinner just yet so i do have another builder's bar protein bar and i have these tortilla chips not the best way to continue having another meal but i want to wait for dinner this is going to be my last meal before i get back into another fast so i just want to wait that out until the end typically me being able to fast for an indefinite period of time no problem but because i've been eating every day i get hungry every couple hours i currently have brussels sprouts cooking and italian sausages on the stove as well so tonight is my last night that i will be eating back-to-back -back days after tonight's refeed i will be going for a 65 hour fast and we'll just stick with 65s until i get back to my maintenance weight so a couple of things here one of the interesting things is as i am ending my last meal before i fast again i'm ending it with the same meal that i started now i didn't start with a salad this time just brussels sprouts and italian sausage but the rest of the food afterwards is probably going to be the same as i had on day one of this 10 day eating extravaganza, if you will. The second thing I wanna point out is I am a little bit scared about this fast. After eating this many days in a row, I noticed that as the days went on and I kept eating and eating and eating, I started to find myself wanting to eat more often, eat even in a higher amount. And I don't know how this 65 hour fast is gonna go. I do feel like it is gonna be a challenge, but I am ready to take that on. There is excitement behind it because I wanna get back to what I was doing, get back to my walks and the gym and just fasting throughout. All right, it is 11 p.m. It is a much longer refeeding day. I'm at nine hours and 50 minutes. Surprisingly though, I haven't ate a ton in between that time. Gave myself just time to hang out and not think about food as much. My Brussels sprouts are done though. So don't mind me as I talk. I probably will end my refeed in the next hour and a half or so after I finish eating everything and then hopping onto a 65 hour fast. I will document everything just to share my feelings, to eat in a plentiful way over the last 10 days, to then talk about cravings and see how it affects me because i'm sure that the cravings and the hunger is going to be a lot more intense than when i was fasting for every four days for the last five months every three days for the last three weeks you know it chicken tenders barbecue sauce honey mustard the usual yep cashews i will try to not eat this entire tin this snicker cookie the best it's probably gonna be it, and then I'll start my fast. Yeah, I gained 20 plus pounds. Could I have eaten better? Absolutely. Could have I had better control in between my meals? Definitely. But here's the thing. I didn't stop trying. I didn't stop being aware of what was happening. I didn't stop the mindset of learning that I need to be better about what I'm doing. Yes, I overate. 
Yes, I was out of control a lot of the times, but it didn't stop me from going for a walk. It didn't stop me from going to the gym. I didn't do as much exercise as I normally did, but I still went and did it. I still had some control of what I was doing. And here's the thing, last night when I hit that timer, I told myself, let's go. I got myself into bed, I slept really well, I got up, I went for an almost two hour walk, I came back here and I started taking care of business when it comes to my work. I didn't run away from things, I showed up, I made sure that I was accountable, that I was transparent, that I filmed every thing that happened during those 10 days. That is accountability. That is the importance of accountability. That's me saying, yeah, I might not have eaten the best or done the best, but I'm not gonna walk away from this thing. I'm not gonna leave for the next two days, the week, the month, and never show up again. Because if there's anyone that knows what that's like, that's me. I left YouTube for two plus years so that I could hide and eat and get that dopamine hit and lose relationships and fuck up my life. And that's just a position I don't ever wanna be in again. I'm currently working on the 65 hour fast and nothing is gonna stop me from making sure I get to that point. I could definitely do a 90 hour fast or even something longer to counterbalance, but that's not what this is about at this point. Right now, I want to learn how to do shorter fasts and have better control when it comes to my eating make better choices. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be a process and it's gonna be something that I am going to continue to evolve doing. Where is your accountability when it comes to your health? If you can't answer that question, you need to reassess what is important in your life. Fasting, weight loss, and accountability coaching, you can find the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.